Listen up, Super Mod fans. Chicagoland Games Dice Dojo is the spot for tabletop gamers to enjoy their hobby through great products and even better events. Dice Dojo has the best variety of board games, RPGs, miniature games, and trading card games like Magic and Pokemon in the city. Check out their many events, including dozens of tournaments and their famous free board game night on Wednesdays. Check out their website at chicagolandgames.com or find them on Facebook at Chicago Land Games. Are you looking for more Supermod content? Come join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash powercast network. For just $5 a month, you can get access to YouTube ad-free shows, all Supermod updates, all Supermod spreadsheets. All of our shows are released early. There are bonus episodes and much more. Don't waste another minute, everybody. Head on over to patreon.com slash powercast network. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. This is the New Year's series, and of course that means it's WWF all month long. That's right. All month of January will be dedicated to the World Wrestling Federation and us trying to move through the schedule. First and foremost, everybody, I'd like to apologize if my voice is a little bit off, if I sound nasally. I have been dealing with a very bad sinus infection. And uh, it's actually had me laid up for a few days here. And I'm trying to work through it and still get the shows done. So my apologies, everybody. I'm sure you can overlook this minor infraction. All right, let's move along here. We are at live tour date number 101. That puts us in Portland, Oregon at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Now, for those of you that are wrestling history fans, you would know that Portland is Don Owen country. And the WWF was moving aggressively against him uh, to the point where when Rowdy Roddy Piper was with the company, he refused to work in Portland against Don Owen. And uh, in this case, in our case, Billy Jack Haynes didn't feel the same way. And uh, we actually have Billy Jack Haynes on the card here tonight. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get this red text of doom up here taken care of. It is going to be off television, so it's just a regular live event or a house show, whichever wording you prefer. Let's take a look at our absent workers. Nothing but the usuals here. And let's take a look at our backstage instance, Bobby Heenan and David Studemeyer. Hey, good for David Studemeyer. He's getting brought under the tutelage of Bobby Heenan. Does that mean a potential Heenan family member? Doubtful, but you never know. All right, Navarro and Patera Patera is passing down some of his knowledge to the young Al Navarro. All right, let's take a look at our card, everybody, because that's what we're here for. Now, this is not an accurate card for what they actually ran in this town that night. Uh, that won't kick up again until after today. Uh, this is the, the card that I manufactured, a touring date card, and it's still a pretty solid one. And it's not too far off from the real deal either. We're going to see Tony Gurea. Versus Tom McGee in the opener. Kamala and Sika will face the Can-Am connection. Baron Mikel Skakluna is going to face Ken Patera, also an Oregon native. Brad Rangens is going to battle the outlaw, Ron Bass. Iron Mike Sharp will face Bam Bam Bigelow. Hercules is going to face Billy Jack Haynes. The Islanders are going to face Demolition, the semi-main. And in our main event, everybody, the macho man, Randy Savage, the former Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion will battle the man that beat him, current Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And Savage is going to attempt to regain his title. Here we go, everybody. With all that said, and it was a lot said, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. Here we go. Gurea and McGay here. Not McGay. I'm not in Ireland. <laughs> Gurea and McGee. 
All right, Tony Guerrea is going to put over Tom McGee here. And what the heck? No Tony Guerrea again. Now, I just signed a contract with Tony Guerrea. So why wouldn't Tony Guerrea be wrestling for us? And, of course, I can't adjust it. Unreal. This has been extremely frustrating with this save. Now, I should be able to go back and edit that, but in the meantime, this is what we deal with. All right, so let's put somebody else in there with him. And why don't we have Nick, Nick, Nick DiCarlo do the favor here? Yeah, we'll put in Nick DiCarlo. Nick DiCarlo is a very good serviceable hand. So here we go, DiCarlo and McGee in the opener. And I didn't really think I was going to deal with that with uh, Tony Guerrilla again. So here is Nick DiCarlo, and here is Mega Man Tom McGee, and we are trying really hard to get Tom McGee over. All right, there we go, Tom McGee with the victory here, and Nick DiCarlo, of course, doesn't mind. And as a matter of fact, Nick DiCarlo will probably help him here. All right, up next, Kamala and Sika versus the Cam Can Am Connection. They're going to go 12. Here is Kamala and Sika. And here are the Can Am Connection. We are going to have the Can Ams go over here. We're going to have Tommy Zank, the flake himself, get the win here. We're not too far away from him flaking out here and leaving. All right, next is Kakluna versus Ken Patera, and they are going to go 12 also. Skakluna, of course, is a crafty veteran. And I'm pretty certain that I just ran into Baron Mikel Skakluna, his son, Charles Skakluna, on the message boards. Pretty certain of it. All right, here is Ken Patera. And, of course, Ken Patera is going to get the win here. That one is all set. Up next here we have Rangans and Ron Bass. And we're pushing hard to get Ron Bass over here. And here is Brad Rangans. Here's the outlaw, Ron Bass. WWF, ah, Rangans is still banged up. I think today's his last day of being banged up. That's okay, it'll hurt the score, but we'll be all right. All right, so this one is booked. Ron Bass is going to get the win. If you'll excuse me for a minute here, everybody, I have to sneeze. All right, I'm back. Sorry for that interruption. All right, here we go. Uh, Iron Mike Sharp and Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow, of course, is new to our promotion, and he will be doing the house show loop for quite a while before we put him on television. In real life, Bigelow did not join the promotion for another month or two, but we'll still try to keep him on the cards. And we also, not true to life, Brought in his manager, Oliver Humperdinck. Right, here is Bigelow with the win. And Sharpie, of course, does not mind. He'll just run a few more stairs and take a few more showers. All right, Hercules is up against Billy Jack Haynes here. They are going to go 16. And, of course, Billy Jack Haynes is going to get the win here in his hometown. But we have to keep this one interesting. So let's have Haynes get the win by DQ. Ah, it's still on the enhancement. i got to get used to this. All right, so there we go. Haynes with the win. And now we're going to have DQ. We're going to have outside interference, Bobby Heenan. 
There we go. All right, good to go on that one. Up next is our semi-main, the Islanders versus Demolition. They're going to go 18 here. And here we go. Let's get Demolition the win. And X will get the win for his team. And here comes our big main event, everybody. We're going to have them go 30. We have Savage versus Steamboat. And let me tell you, these two could get the job done. No doubt about it. Right, here's Randy Savage. Here is the Dragon. And let's give the win to Ricky Steamboat Clean. Why not? Repeat of WrestleMania 3 here. This one's in the books. We're at our usual 2 hours and 20 minutes. We're ready to go here, everybody. Let's start the show. All right, DiCarlo and Tom McGee gets a whopping 32. And uh, Red Text of Doom. But these two do have good chemistry, so that's a good sign. Get a little bit of green with the red in there. Good stuff. All right, up next, the Kamala and Sika against the Can-Ams here. And the Can-Ams get the victory, 78. Overall, not bad for these four in the ring. And I took Kim Chi away from Kamala and just put Kamala with the wizard. And it looks like they have a good rating together. Let's see if there's any takeaways here. There's not much besides selling. And that's fair. All right, Skakluna versus Patera here. Patera only gets a 68, which is not too far off from real life. Uh, Skakluna's older here. I think he's in his late 40s, maybe in his early 50s. He's got some declining physical ability. That's okay. All right, up next here, Ron Bass and Brad Rangans. Lots of red text here, and that's due to Rangans' injury and these two men just not being over. And Ron Bass gets the win here with the inverted suplex slam. 53, a whopping 53 overall. All right, Sharp and Bigelow. And. Uh, we screwed up originally and had Humperdinck um, as a heel. So now we're going to have to turn him to a baby face, and it's going to cause us a problem, and it's going to hurt the score, and that's okay because we've got plenty of time to build up Bam Bam here. Here we go, Hercules and Billy Jack Haynes. And Billy Jack Haynes gets the win here by DQ after Bobby Heenan interferes. That keeps this feud Going strong. Nice score at 84. Excellent. And here we go, another 84 with the Islanders and Demolition. Demolition gets the win here, 84 overall. Lots of green, and green, of course, means money in TEW. Bonus city all the way down. Good stuff here, everybody. Good stuff. All right, our main event gets a 98. Yeah. Big score here for the main event. Big score. 98, top quality, good stuff. Bonus City, our only takeaway here is this uh, manager business with Elizabeth. But we're not going to change that because it's true to life. So there we go. Steamboat makes another defense of the Intercontinental Heavyweight title. And we're going to go ahead and finish this one up. We get a gain here in the Northwest region, which is terrific. We are going to point out Randy Savage. We are going to point out Ricky Steamboat, and we are going to point out Billy Jack Haynes. All right, excellent performance, great performance, great performance, good performance. We're going to make that speech. Savage is pleased, Steamboat's pleased, and Billy Jack Haynes is pleased. Everybody's pleased. I'm pleased, too. Great scores, which brings us up to event number 102 coming up, and that one is True to Life. Historically accurate card. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to be in the McNichols Arena in Denver, Colorado. And we're going to have the Bulldogs and the Hart Foundation on top in this one, everybody. And it should be outstanding. You can see this was another short card, so we added in additional matches. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on in the game world. Okay, Angie Manelli is going to work for somebody else. That's fine. Brad Ringens is now recovered, which is also good. Let's make the adjustment to Tony Guerrero right now. And if we can't, I'm going to be pissed. 
What the hell? <sighs> I screwed up the contract. That's what happened, everybody. All right, let me show you how you fix this. You got to go to the editor. You got to edit Gurea's contract. And we're going to bring it down to under 30 days. So we'll put it on there for 14 days. And we're going to offer him a new contract. which includes everything, be whatever is needed. So there we go. That's where I screwed up the last time. So we'll go ahead and make that offer. Yeah, we can do major TV shows and above, no problem. All right, 18,000. All right, there we go. So hopefully that gets him straightened out now. Now let's see if I made the same mistake with Bobby Heenan. Because I bet you I did. Nope, that one I didn't. So good. All right, that does it for us with that. Let's take a look around the game world here. World Class has got a new team, Cowboy Tony and Billy Bart. Fair enough. Cowboy Tony, of course, is Tony Falk who was doing a strange Boy George type gimmick. The Executioners have won the IWF Tag Team title. Good for them. Uh, I'm trying to see if I see anything. Oh, no! Terry Gordy has OD'd. But it looks like he's going to make it. Ricky Morton, what happened here? Ricky Morton saved a drowning child. Good for him. Hey, Mark Youngblood's going to be in Crockett Promotions. Fernandez and Brad Armstrong are going to continue on with Championship Wrestling from Florida. They, of course, both are loaned there from Crockett, so that's probably why. Um, I don't really see anything else that catches our eye. Looks like Crockett was off last night. Nope, there they go. So there you go, the Road Warriors over Luger and Anderson in the main event. Excellent. Blanchard over Lasertron. They love Lasertron in these saves. I even double-checked the stats. It's not all that impressive. This is a good card. It's a really good card. we got things straightened out here for uh, version 10, so that's good. All right, so that's going to do it for us, everybody. We will be back in action tomorrow with live event tour number 111. For those of you that have not done so already, please make sure that you check out Patreon for five bucks only. Five bucks. You can get all the latest versions of the Supermod. You can get all the all the spreadsheets. All the spreadsheets you can handle, frankly. You get access ad-free, YouTube ad-free to all of our shows. You'll also get some bonus episodes. There's just a lot of good stuff on Patreon. So patreon.com slash powercast. Network. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also drop us a line below. Let us know what you think of the show so far, and we are very glad to have you. Last but not least, you can check us out on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>